There were several recognized names involved with the rapid changes in William Branham's stage persona from 1936 to 1947 and beyond. From Gordon Lindsay and Jack Moore to W.E. Kidson and Raymond Chaplin Ray Hoekstra and more, William Branham's image was molded and rebranded several times until his name was recognized in the Healing Revival. With these men came their very powerful financial engines, marketing, and finely tuned business operations. Before the publishing companies that exist today, Spoken Word Publications and Voice of God Recordings, these men recorded, printed, distributed, and sold religious products that were widely popular among the participants in the Healing Revival. Many of these products are lost to time, but remnants of their existence still remain. Pentecostal groups interested in preserving history are always excited to find these artifacts and are very eager to republish them once they're located. This was not the case with William Branham. The very first recordings and transcripts of William Branham start with the sentence, we're getting some new gadgets for recording, suggesting that there were old gadgets for recording. This is somewhat verified by the revivals at Vandalia, which newspaper reporters described as being very costly and very electronic. Loudspeakers carried Branham's voice throughout the streets of Vandalia. Because of the changes in stage persona, however, cult leaders are not very excited about republishing these early recordings. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.